Alrighty, I'm going to be going over my rigging for my 2019 Hobie Outback. Um, this is basically everything that I use when I go out. Sometimes I'll add a couple things, but nothing nothing too much. Like I'll add an extra rod holder or something if I'm going to do some cut bait or popping cork or something like that. And I need to take a, a fourth rod. For the most part, I use three rods. Um, so I don't know where to begin. There's nothing in the front hatch. I'll be using it once uh, once I get the the insert. I think they're supposed to be in here really soon. So we'll start off on the side since we're already on this side. I just got the regular um, Hobie anchor trolley. I did have the um, lever lock on all my other kayaks, but it seems like the ring always gets hung up on me. So I went ahead and this one's I feel like it's a little bit better. You'll, without having that ring, you'll sometimes get the, the rope to come up high, but if I were using an anchor, it wouldn't be that, that way, but with a stakeout pull, it tends to ride high sometimes, which ain't a big deal. So the, stake pull, or the stakeout pull that I use is just a, a Yak Attack. It's the older version. It's like heavier. I do have the, you probably can't see it in the corner over there, but I do have the other lighter one that floats, but it just, I don't feel like it, it I can shove it down the ground as, as good. I mean, it, it's really, it feels like you're not even holding anything, at least with this. It's a, you know, a couple pounds heavier, so you get a little bit more force behind it. Um, if you see my last video, you know that I did the, the marine mat on it. Um, I really like it. Haven't had it out on the water yet. But as far as me sitting in it and just sliding stuff around the back like in a cooler and whatnot, everything's nice and quiet. And plus, I think it makes it look a lot better. Because in the sunlight, this kayak is yellow. It's not the seagrass green, unless I'm in the garage. It's getting a little bit more green now since I'm losing light outside that's coming in. So, all right. So let's start off with just what I take with me, like in my little side storage. I got my fish grips. A pair of pliers, a pair like the really long, in case it gets deep, and then I have some Z-Man swim baits. I only use those when the pinfish are bad. I only like them because the pinfish don't tear the the tails off. All right, I'll go with what. This is my hard baits. I'm not going to go over every bait that's in it. But you can just take a peek. This is pretty much what I use. This ain't really my full on summertime um, get up, but a lot of Miradines and jerk baits and a lot of top water. I just cut a popper and a weedless frog just for, for high tide when they're way up in the weeds. That weedless frog don't get don't get stuck on nothing. So over here, my soft plastics I use. A big fan like Saltwater Assassin, Zoom Flukes, Egret Wedge Tail, Down South Lures, and then my trout, my pink trout stuff. Catch trout on all of them really, but. So those are my go-to. I really don't steer far from them unless I get it like as a gift or something like that. I do use gulp. I mean, I, I use a lot of gulp, just not when the when the pinfish are real bad. Um, I always have some Procure with me. It's just the inshore scent. Um, and then just my terminal tackle. I keep under the seat because I don't get into it that often. Um, it's just jig heads twist lock hooks, egg sinkers, just anything that I need for like cut bait or just different weights for different water depths, stuff like that. In here I keep my battery for my fish finder. It took me like three years to actually get a fish finder. I was so skeptical. I'm like, I'm not going to use it. I don't need it. So far, I'm really glad I got it. All the trips I've taken so far is because of that thing, finding me good structure and fish. Not a lie. I mean, I, I get buyer's remorse very, very easy. And 
I'm 100% happy with that. So all I keep in here is just my battery, spare leader material, a uh, couple things I only put on popping cork, which I don't use that often, and my GoPro stuff goes in there as well. And then I just put my cell phone in a little map pocket up there. And then I have RAM tubes. Um, I, I've never really had any other kind of rod holder. I'm sure there's better ones. I mean, this is what I've, I've always had, so I never really changed. But if you have any recommendations on uh, some better ones, because I don't like these when I troll for trout. Um, they're just kind of, don't get me wrong, they're solid when you lock them down and tighten them up, but as far as just maneuverability, it's kind of meh. So if you have any recommendations on good uh, rod holders for that kind of stuff, wouldn't mind picking up two. Alright, now the paddle that I use is just the Angler Ace. Um, I got that back when I was in a paddle kayak. I like it. I haven't had to use it since I sold my paddle kayak really, but it's a pretty light paddle. I think it's like 32 ounces, something like that. Oh, let's see. The mount that my fish finder is on is a Yak Gear, I believe. I'll put the, I'll put exactly what it is. I'll type it in here because I'm not 100% what one I ended up going with, but I really like it. Really, really like it. It's pretty, it's very adjustable. And then if I need to spin this thing around, I just push this little button in, I can spin it, and then bam, it locks again. So really, really like that about it. Um, I just got this cheap old uh, bump board here. My last one I got from ACK, like the real thin, longer one. It broke. I had it propped up on the, the hatch there, and I slammed my freaking heel down on it. I like that one a little bit better anyway. It is heavier, but it's just, it slides out if you need it. And it's just uh, smaller in general, so it fits back there a lot better. I got my net. I hate using nets, but with a trout, I, I, I need to use a net more often. I get them right to the boat and lose them a lot here lately, so. Um, let's see, landing gear. I don't think I'll ever have another kayak. It doesn't have landing gear. Every kayak I've owned, I've put landing gear on, and I absolutely love it. Uh, let's see, the stuff I usually put in the tank well is just a, a cooler for uh, for like food, food, water. That's pretty much it. Just a real small cooler. Um, I am gonna get. I, I've been putting my fish on a stringer now because I actually hate just having a big cooler full of ice in the back. I don't know, I just feel like it's it's a pain to get the lid off and then turn around and so I just put everything on a stringer if I'm going to keep it that day. But I am going to get a the fish bag that goes up front there that has like the, the dual zipper on top with the one handle that seems like it's really quick and easy. I've seen a bunch of people use those and it seems to be like the right route to go. Um the back. I was really considering a power pool, but I decided not to. And the reason why is because 90% of the time I like to face the current, have it coming, you know, against me, cast my lure up and bring it down with the current. And I know that the power pool you're going to spin. Like with the river stick, that's why I haven't been using it, because you do spin. So you kind of need to do like the river stick plus the stakeout pool. Of course, the stakeout pool doesn't have to be um, as as you know put in the ground as well. When, once you you do have the river stick on the back, because you just need that to keep you from going left or right, rather than holding the whole weight of the kayak. But I, I may still get one. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I don't really have too many issues um, putting the the stakeout pool down, and half the time I just flutter the flutter the mirage drive and stay in place. But here lately with like <clears throat> trout and stuff holding in big holes and you're there for like you know 30 40 minutes i do uh stake out 
rather than sit there and kick and stay in place. Um, I do got sand tires for the um, the landing gear because I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot more different fishing this spring and summer. I kind of been just sticking to a rough small area around my house in the marsh and it's kind of getting burnt out on it. But that is what I have so far on my 2019 Hobie Outback. I don't plan on doing anything major, possibly a power pool, but that's a I don't know, that's pretty that's a pretty big if. Um, and then the probably do the fish bag up front. Other than that, I think I'm gonna keep everything like it is, just to, just for simplicity. Because even having the fish finder, that's you know, I, I like to keep it simple and organized and I was really kind of, you know, like, man, I don't have to deal with the fish finder, the wires, and then, but once I got it on there, I realized it's not even a, it's not even a burden at all, unless I got to a point where I had to paddle real far, but that hasn't happened yet, and I'm sure it will, but I don't think I'm, I won't ever get to the point where I'm going to need to paddle, like, two miles, unless the Mirage Drive breaks, which in that case, I can just take it off and put it in my hatch, and, or put it in my, uh, my watertight box there. So, oh yeah, another thing I always take is a pump. You just never know. I don't think I've ever had more than like a shot glass full of water in the bottom of my kayak, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So I always appreciate you guys watching, and uh, hopefully I'll get on some fish in the next video.